Today, the focus of my presentation is concept of teaching, its objectives and levels of teaching, memory, understanding and reflective. Dear viewer, please watch the entire video. At the end of the video, there are MCQs based on the presentation. Dear viewers, let us first try to understand the concept of teaching. Teaching is a dynamic process of imparting knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes to learners with the aim of facilitating their intellectual, emotional, and social development. It involves the deliberate and organized efforts of educators to promote effective learning. The following points highlight the concept of teaching. Knowledge transfer. Teaching involves the transfer of knowledge, skills, and values from an instructor to learners. Structured process. It follows a structured and organized process to ensure effective learning. Communication. Effective communication is key, with teachers using various methods to convey information, including verbal, written, and visual. Pedagogical methods. Teaching employs pedagogical methods that cater to the needs and characteristics of learners. Facilitation of learning. The primary goal is to facilitate learning, understanding, and skill acquisition among students. Customization. Teaching can be tailored to individual learning styles and abilities to enhance comprehension. Interaction. Interaction between the teacher and students, as well as among students, fosters a conducive learning environment. Assessment. Assessment and evaluation help gauge the effectiveness of teaching methods and student progress. Adaptation. Effective teaching adapts to changing educational needs, technology, and societal demands. Empowerment. Teaching empowers individuals by equipping them with knowledge and skills to make informed decisions and contribute to society. Lifelong learning. It instills a love for lifelong learning and curiosity in students, encouraging them to seek knowledge beyond the classroom. Ethical values. Teaching often includes imparting ethical values, fostering character development, and promoting responsible citizenship. Continuous improvement. Teachers continuously improve their methods and strategies to enhance the quality of education. Diversity and inclusion. Effective teaching embraces diversity and inclusivity, accommodating learners from diverse backgrounds and abilities. Let me now discuss various objectives of teaching. 1. Knowledge acquisition. One of the primary objectives of teaching is to facilitate the acquisition of knowledge. This includes imparting factual information, fundamental concepts, and foundational principles in various subject areas. 2. Comprehension. Teaching aims to ensure that learners not only receive information but also understand it. This involves helping students grasp the meaning, significance, and context of the knowledge being conveyed. 3. Application of knowledge. Teaching goes beyond rote memorization by encouraging students to apply the knowledge they have gained. Learners should be able to use what they've learned to solve problems, make informed decisions, and apply concepts in practical situations. 4. Critical thinking. Teaching fosters critical thinking skills, enabling students to analyze information, evaluate its validity, and engage in logical reasoning. It encourages them to question, reflect, and form well-reasoned opinions. 5. Creativity and innovation. Effective teaching encourages creativity and innovation. It inspires students to think outside the box, generate new ideas, and explore novel solutions to challenges. 6. Communication skills. Teaching includes the development of effective communication skills, encompassing both verbal and written expression. Students should be able to articulate their thoughts and ideas clearly and persuasively. 7. Problem solving. Teaching equips students with problem solving skills, enabling them to identify issues, devise strategies to address them, and evaluate the outcomes. 8. Teamwork and collaboration. In addition to individual skills, teaching promotes teamwork and collaboration, preparing students to work effectively in group settings and diverse environments. 9. Ethical and moral values. Teaching encompasses the inculcation of ethical and moral values. It aims to develop responsible citizens who make ethical choices and contribute positively to society. 10. Lifelong learning. Teaching instills a love for lifelong learning. It encourages students to be curious, seek knowledge independently, and adapt to new information and technologies throughout their lives. 11. Cultural and global awareness. Teaching promotes cultural and global awareness, fostering an understanding and appreciation of diverse cultures, perspectives, and global issues. 
Let us discuss various levels of teaching, memory, understanding, and reflective. Teaching occurs at different cognitive levels, each with distinct objectives and outcomes. These levels, often referred to as the cognitive domain, encompass memory, understanding, and reflective thinking. 1. Memory level, remembering, objective. The primary objective at this level is to facilitate the recall of facts, information, and concepts. Characteristics. Learners are expected to memorize and reproduce information, often through rote learning. Examples. Memorizing historical dates, multiplication tables, vocabulary words, or scientific definitions. 2. Understanding level, understanding, objective. At this level, teaching aims to help learners comprehend the meaning and significance of information and concepts. Characteristics. Students are encouraged to explain concepts in their own words, provide examples, and demonstrate understanding. Examples. Explaining the causes of an historical event, interpreting a literary passage, or solving mathematical problems with comprehension. 3. Reflective level, applying and analyzing, objective. Teaching at the reflective level goes beyond memorization and comprehension. It focuses on critical thinking, analysis, and the application of knowledge. Characteristics. Learners are expected to think critically, make connections between concepts, apply knowledge to solve complex problems, and analyze information. Examples. Analyzing the implications of a historical event, evaluating the arguments in a debate, conducting scientific experiments, or solving real-world issues using learned principles. These three levels of teaching, often associated with Bloom's taxonomy of educational objectives, represent a progression from basic recall and understanding to higher-order thinking and application. Effective teaching involves a balance between these levels, ensuring that learners not only remember and comprehend information but also develop the capacity for critical thinking and practical application of knowledge. Dear viewer, let us solve some important multiple choice questions from the presentation. Question 1 is, what is the primary goal of teaching? A. Rote memorization B. Promoting critical thinking C. Fostering creativity D. Social interaction correct answer is B. Promoting critical thinking question 2 is, at which level of teaching are learners expected to recall facts and information? A. Understanding level B. Reflective level C. Memory level D. Synthesis level correct answer is C. Memory level. Question 3 is, which teaching level encourages learners to analyze complex ideas and concepts? A. Memory level B. Reflective level C. Understanding level D. Synthesis level correct answer is B. Reflective level question 4 is, what is the objective of teaching at the understanding level? A. Encouraging rote memorization B. Promoting critical evaluation C. Fostering creativity D. Developing comprehension correct answer is D. Developing comprehension. Question 5 is, which teaching level involves the ability to connect and synthesize information? A. Memory level B. Reflective level C. Understanding level D. Analysis level correct answer is B. Reflective level question 6 says, what is the primary objective of teaching at the memory level? A. Encouraging critical thinking B. Comprehending complex ideas C. Facilitating recall of facts D. Applying knowledge to real world situations correct answer is C. Facilitating recall of facts. Question 7 is, which teaching level involves explaining concepts in one's own words and providing examples? A. Memory level B. Reflective level C. Understanding level D. Analytical level correct answer is C. Understanding level question 8 is, at the reflective level of teaching, learners are expected to A. Memorize facts and information B. Comprehend complex ideas C. Think critically and solve complex problems D. Reproduce information through rote learning correct answer. C. Think critically and solve complex problems. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Education and Teacher Education, at Shoking Bilal.